Success in business needs a few things. Yes, you need the financial fitness, but you also need your spiritual and physical fitness. There's more pieces to life and productivity than just money. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the actual physical routine that you need to have while you are building your business because that is very, very important to your success and your mindset. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. It's Christian, still in the Bahamas, wanting to talk to you guys about the actual physical fitness side of being in business. You need to stay healthy because the whole, like your rhythm, your energy, the just your general health and blood flow through to your brain are very, very reliant on eating well, sleeping well, and getting good exercise. Sharing a few tips that work for me and other entrepreneurs who are more fit than I am. But when you're building your business, what you're going to find is it takes a vast majority of your time. I work crazy hours. I'm always on project and there are always things coming at me. So how do you actually block time for yourself? Now, I actually do this a little bit differently than my wife. So we just talked about this today. I figured this would be a great one to share on the channel with you. She loves working out in the mornings. Wake up, work out, get it done while you're fresh. I hear that a lot and it works for a lot of people. However, that's not optimal for me. When I wake up, the first thing I'm thinking about is what projects do I have? What did I have left over from yesterday? Some of my most productive hours are with my cup of coffee by myself where I can think and get working on the day. I like working out as a wind down to de-stress from whatever came up during the day. It does a lot for me. So rule number one, figure out what works for you because if you just try to follow someone else's system, you are almost definitely gonna fail. I have a few things that are very, very simple that are time-saving that have worked well for me. So one, physical health. I don't drink alcohol. I stopped a while ago. I'll tell you right now as an entrepreneur, I feel and think better. I also get more deeper sleep. Plus you save some money, which is a bonus. But on a health standpoint, that is something you can do. I'm not saying you have to do that. It's a huge personal choice, but that is one that has been massively helpful, highly recommend. Number two, efficient workouts while you're building your business, especially when you're in a very busy season. I make sure that I get all major movements done. So you're talking compound movements. If you're a weightlifter, great. You can do this with calisthenics. Um, but the main things I focus on in lifting, this is 30 minutes a day in my gym when we're in grind time. I like to push that to an hour when I have a little bit more time. But you have to hit your squats, lunges, deadlifts, pull-ups, bench press, overhead press. If you are doing all of those lifts, you are hitting a ton of compound movements. You're going to stay generally in muscular shape. There's one more piece though. You do need to do some sort of cardiovascular activity. Um, I have found treadmills, jump roping, or anything that's static is usually super boring. And I hate running. Now, if you love running, great. You found your sport, go ahead and do it. Um, what I recommend is a team sport that is social that you enjoy doing that gets you out there moving gets the blood pumping your lungs going for me pickleball is the ultimate i also like ultimate frisbee and a few of the other fringe sports but find things with other people that you can consistently do it's going to help you on the social side and you're going to feel better when you feel better it's going to relate directly to your business every single time uh, when i'm feeling down in the business and it's rare but sometimes you just burn out there's a few times midday where I'm like, I am not being productive. I hate this. I don't feel good. I will go out, play some pickleball, reset, come back. This is something that you can do, put into your day. You can do it with weightlifting. You can do it with whatever. But the physical activities need to work themselves into your schedule of set pieces. And when you're not productive, stop working and go do something. I think if other entrepreneurs did this more often, everyone would be much more productive. Some of the best players in the, both the real estate and just general entrepreneur space that I've ever met all follow these principles. So whatever it is for you, figure out that schedule, figure out when you're being productive and when you need to reset and keep that physical activity up. You will have more energy. You will be more creative. When you feel better, you will make better decisions, especially in the build phase of the business. It is the hardest space of your career, in my opinion, to make time to work out. And if you do that and you stay active, you're going to build a better business more efficiently and you're going to feel a heck of a lot better about it. Simple video. I know this isn't necessarily real estate, but 
made a huge difference for me. I know it made a huge difference for Cody. Um, if you've watched anything back in our channel, uh, just look at our faces from two years ago to now. Uh, we're both a little skinnier. We're both a lot healthier. And we have a lot more energy. Both of us do. So if you're looking for a way to enhance your business outside of just, well, how do I work more hours? This is the thing you have to get down. Now, if you want more tips, follow this channel. We love sharing everything we learn. If you have any questions or want to talk any of the physical activity things or give me pointers because I'm not a, I'm not a super fitness guy. I like what I like and I stay in appropriate shape to feel good. Uh, but if anyone has tips or tricks that work, post it in the comments and we will see you guys on the next episode.